The views expressed on this program are purely those of Richard Lawrence. He contains explicit and insults that may be offensive, abusive, or downright mean to some individual, entities, groups, or organizations. You should not listen if you are easily insulted, overly sensitive, lack a sense of humor, or just have a stick up your... <coughs> if you go on and you are offended by this video or audio, we really don't give a... <coughs> as this is a frequent occurrence, we have set up an email to which you may submit all your complaints. The email address is please at foff.com. That's please at fof. Dot com. As this is only meant for intelligent, honest, open-minded persons, viewers and listener discretion is strongly advised. Enjoy! Welcome to the Unvarnished Views. I'm Richard Lyons. Coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 is running rampant in Jamaica. Just last week, we started making hefty jumps by double digits from about 75 to now 173. That's like 100 in one week. This might be, be a slow, might be slowing down or just taking off, we don't know. Now here's the thing. These Alarica well, um, employees who have been tested, I feel it for them. But truth be told, if any one of them tests positive, they were already positive, long time, just waiting to be tested. So what is my concern? Well, I want this virus to stop spreading and I want people to cooperate and to be in a position to cooperate but we need a few things straighten out first oh God please add these amendments to the act or the gazette as, as you call it no child must be sent on the road for any reasons reason children are less mindful of their surroundings and will inevitably infect themselves now i've seen this in action because i've seen kids at the local um shop and they are touching everything and they're touching your face and all these kind of a thing you know they are not don't send don't allow parents to send them out on the road for any, any reason now, another thing, no baby should be brought on the road, reason, they have no immune system, where are you going with a baby, why is somebody carrying a baby on the road, what, what, what can a baby do, no young children should be brought on the road for any reason, reason, children are less mindful of their surroundings and will inevitably, inadvertently, infect themselves all toll-free numbers to all ministries and agencies of government must be free reason we're in a lockdown and we have no credit not everyone is going to have the credit to make the phone call so what happens if you don't have the credit mm -hmm. there ain't a problem so they need to free up so a person can make a call if they need assistance you understand they one the eight 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 one love number should get responsibility for all callers who need assistance in any way as it relates to this COVID nineteen crisis. Reason calling the eight 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 one love is free. The number that people know, and people are tired of this. They run around when they need help. You call one place and they are giving you a number to call somewhere else. When you call that place, they are giving you a number to call somewhere else. You know, it, it's madness. You understand? Just put everything under one umbrella. Since we, have, we know the umbrella here and they are advertised umbrella here, people know this and can call. Put everything there, so you understand? No. Allow supermarket, corner shop, pharmacies, etc to open every day on on days outside of the shopping days they would be allowed to accept orders via telecommunication media such as whatsapp sms or card for delivery since courier service already already allowed reason this will reduce the number of persons gathered at shopping on shopping days you know so that will kind of ease, ease these crowds that you see 
right? so less chance of spreading the virus anyone who, who calls asking for food within the lockdown must be given high, prior, high priority regardless of age race gender or sexual orientation reason we are in a lockdown we can't leave yeah, we're not supposed to leave we're supposed to stay in the lockdown right so not assisting us is, is forcing our, our hands you know no the care compassionate grant for persons in St. Catherine should be fast forwarded fast track for payment before Wednesday so we can have the money there that money to buy the essentials of life reason many persons have no money to buy to buy food and it has been raining since early March and you remember that any work that they had planned has been in many persons have to live from day to day so I don't have any money today but I will have money tomorrow I and mean, this lockdown interrupt everything because in less than two hours we prepare so is anything really happy that's all you have you understand so we need some assistance in that in that regard so fast forward or something you know? no additionally all post offices should be open on shopping days even on Saturday to allow those who did not get a chance to collect their part benefits to do so reason some post offices like the one in Arkansas St. Catherine only open one day for the week Thursday no the day for shopping should be changed as follows one elderly women pregnant women and other ab otherwise able persons should be allowed to shop on Thursday many supermarkets give discounts to seniors on Thursday give them the whole day there is a challenge for the elderly to get transportation furthermore they are not very fast they are not very quick they are not going to get all of it all of their shopping and get get on the road do their shopping and get home in two hours you know it just makes common sense for the rest of the population split us in two A to L and M to Z on Monday the first half however you split it will go out from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and the second half will go out from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Wednesday they reverse the order so the second half will take the first ship and then the first half will take the second ship then they alternate on Saturday then Monday then Wednesday and so on and so forth this is fair as it would give some give everyone an equal opportunity to get fresh food. Now, this two day for everyone out is madness. Furthermore, this is likely to get more people with the virus because people are not thinking about social distance or, or coronavirus. They are thinking about the hungry belly children at home. I for one need help with food and toiletries as well as sanitization products but when i reach out to the ministry of social security their answer in is you are a 29 year old male we are focused on elderly on the elderly and i don't have a problem with the elderly getting help my granny needs needs some help right now but remember you put me in a position where I have to ask for help because I was ordered Tanaya Yard. So, even if I could do something to make a buck, I can't. So, when you refuse to help me, you are telling me to go break the law, either traditionally by rob and thief, or and or mother by buying by breaking the lockdown we want to work with you but know this not every jamaican can afford to keep a rainy day fund firstly minimum wage is too low and many employers use it as a standard from them a pay minimum wage them legally are right 
but as you will hear in an upcoming podcast legal don't mean right next thing many Jamaican survive on days work myself included but for the ones who wash and clean for those who work they may not trouble people they home they can do it they can wash themselves and clean themselves either they are home part time or they are home full time Iglers who sell outside school from March 14 they haven't, they haven't worked many persons get laid off and if you work inside St. Catherine you are most likely at home and you think bosses are going to pay workers for no work you ever heard the Jamaicans say hungry at than lick just keep that in mind I've more, more if you say, but never leave it there so for now.